Hey, it's Mr. Peace. Uh, just got done sharing my heart for an evening program. Parents, teachers, students, part of the religious education program, the Faith Formation, here at St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Lake Orion, Michigan. And I've uh, been here a couple times now, but uh, it was just a inspiring night. Uh, the youth, grades six through eight, uh, got to speak to them about the main focus that I am God's by design. And what that really hones in on is like the shirt here, the miracle on the front, worthy on the back. It's like the M etched in all of our palms. And Isaiah 49 says, I've engraved you on the palm of my hands. The lines of our hand have letter M upside down, obviously, W, and that's for worthy, that we're worthy of love to give it and receive it. And once we understand that truth, sometimes we forget that and know God's beautiful love for all of us, then anything is possible. And I'm in front of the quote up top here, with men, this is possible, women, but with God, all things are possible. And we start to understand that we have this uh, divine being, this divine nature, and that our unlimited potential is truly within, it's inherent. And that's why I tried to open people's eyes up tonight, where that we overcome these negative beliefs that we kind of hold on to, that we carry on as as uh, we have this weight basically and say that, you know, that's the truth, that's, but that's, that's someone else's opinion for us. All that matters is what we believe and that once we do believe this, that we start to help other people see uh, their, their worth too. And we, we become the light to their heart and hopefully choose to do that, right? And I think um, just for the people that came up to me after expressed, you know, how much it touched their heart, the whole concept is that if I can touch someone's heart from the Holy Spirit th speaking through me within an hour's time or a little bit more that I, like, like I had tonight with everybody here, that all of us can make that same impact if we let God in, if we let him fully heal our hearts and fully enter. And like Galatians 2.20 says that I've been crucified with Christ and I, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. I mean, yes, we are still alive and still breathing, but at the, you know, when we th really think about this at the simplest level that the more he enters us, the more we become like him. And that if he's just in us and that's all there is, then all we can be doing are things for him, to glorify him, to give everything we have back to him and keep healing this planet, keep spreading his love and his kingdom on this earth. So thanks for touching my heart. Hope to see you guys again soon. You guys are all beautiful. Never forget that. And until then, much love. Peace.